Parental discretion is advised. On this edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we talk Survivor Series, a sleeper Raw, tons of indie news, what we're thankful for in wrestling, and everyone leaves me alone! This week, Wrestling Mayhem. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, get attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 347 coming at you from the studios here in Pittsburgh, PA, the Mayhem Studios. I'm Sorgatron. I remember, I forgot the other intro, but we'll get that next week then. Uh, with me on the couch in the studio is Shachi. What Shachi up? says, a Vincer coin to begin.com. Sorg. Sword, 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 sword. Guess what? Guess what? It's an amazing day. It is. It is. We'll get into that. We'll get into. That. Okay, let's do that in the second half. Uh, but but you, uh, Chachi, uh, made a friend with Zack Ryder I this did. week. I did. He did. <laughs> I did. He did. You made a friend with Zack Ryder. We're going to be getting to that in the second half after remember one. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll touch base on that there, Josh. No. <laughs> no, only wants to wait, my friend. Did we have to wait so long? It's All right, go it, ahead. Let's go to D's. Go ahead. Also with <laughs> us is Bobby F. J. Town. Hi, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> also <laughs> joined us on Awesome Cast earlier tonight. Yeah, triple threat tonight. What's up? What's up? I'm a triple crown winner. Me raising Bret Hart. And Shawn Michaels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the other triple Hart, crown right? winner is here. <laughs> the Riz. I just pulled my charger off the phone. Anyways, oh, no. <laughs> hi. And uh, for Chachi, Titus O'Neil is my friend. <laughs> what? He follows me on Twitter. Nice. nice. Oh, yeah, nice. He and I are like this. Is it, does he go? Oh, 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 oh. How does that translate? Follow you around. <laughs> uh, he, he just hashtag. he just put hashtag. Seal sounds. Or, 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 or. Also <laughs> joining us from San Antonio, or, or. Texas, is the Wrestle Fan. Yeah, it's the Russell fan here, live from San Antonio, Texas. And I have friends, too. Uh, my friend no, is... No, you don't. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. Uh, what a... No. I'll, I'll come back to me about it. I'll, I'll no. tell you who my All right, is. all right. Hey, well, he's thinking about that. Of course, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're, we're fans. We're talking wrestling. We have some fun doing it. You can go check us out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, where the mailbag goes, where articles go, where wrestling fan reviews things, and we post these episodes. You can also check us out. We're on iTunes, Blip TV, on your Roku box via the Blip TV app, on Stitcher, on Spreaker, and a bunch of other places. We have a new so T-shirt! <laughs> we have two new t-shirts we have two new t-shirts of course go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com and on the right there's a uh, button over there here if you go down here oh 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 right, right down here look at that beautiful oh, website sexy Whoa. Uh, Hello. mayhem on your back yes did I write that we yes. have we have two new t-shirts one I'm a chachi says guy fucking right Woo! Can and, we get woo! sued for that? And no. because because okay. because man Mike said he was gonna do this buy one and do this anyways, I have an I am not a Chachi says guy. Blasphemy. Uh go. my attorneys will be emailing you shortly to have that shirt taken down. David Otunga. For slander. David Otunga at Otunga and to Otunga. That drives me nuts. Is there two <laughs> Otungas in the firm? Yes. Who's the other Otunga? Uh, Otunga. Himself, just for the purpose of naming it Otunga. Yeah. Otunga. Yeah, because I need an end in there. He, he just pretends. Mm -hmm. He uh, he he, <laughs> he says he says he's gonna transfer you, <laughs> and he and he puts on a fake beard. <laughs> he already has a beard. He puts on a longer beard and a hat, a <laughs> top hat, a top hat, and uh, a, a monocle. He puts on a top hat and yes. a monocle. More proof that David Otunga is the greatest person uh, ever. If you want to tell us about how David Otunga, uh, a law firm practice is, please let us know at Good Times. <laughs> good Times! At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Also, 412-206-WMS0 <laughs> is the voicemail. Or you can... You can buy the app! Yeah. Yeah. And there, no, right there, Check there's the call button. Right there. Don't even the have to remember. Button. You can completely drunk dial us. Yeah. Or drunk email Visit us. the website. Or, or drunk you know follow us on Twitter. follow you guys on Twitter. Drunk follow us on Twitter. What happens there? What does it do? I don't know. It loads. It loads our Twitter. Uh, think, Look at that. Hey, special Black Friday sale. It's the same price. You just don't have to wait in line. 
Exactly. Go check it out. It's WMS Gold, Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold. Links and extras on the iOS App Store and the Amazon App Store for your Android and iPhones and app- iPads of any size. What? We're technological and shit. Yes, we are. Thanks to Wizard Media for hooking us up with that. Uh, and I have stats. I know you guys are watching this stuff, so I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah! So we're watching you watching us. We're watching you watching us watching you. Put your Emails. pants back on. Put your Put pants it. back on. Emails. Hey, how you doing? Fuck you. I'm not putting my pants back on. Take the dick out of her mouth. Emails. What's going oh. on with the email there, Chuch? Uh, Alex K. Alexander Cars. Who cho- who's been joining us in the Hangout? Yes. It's nice to have a California. We were Ten percenters and my Mayhem Wrestling Show friends and fam. I am thankful for you this year. <laughs> For whether me? whether it's providing whether it's providing great entertainment with the podcast or putting up with my silliness over the short time we've known each other, I appreciate you, even you, Riz. Here's to a great <laughs> holiday season, and may the WMS continue to bring joy to the internet wrestling community and beyond. Alex K, Occupy Pro Wrestling. P.S. If Grand Azul starts rambling on about some turkey, sorry about that. I bought him a rotisserie chicken as a gift, and he seemed overzealous about it. Mm. Oh, he's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a dick. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Who's next? Well, speaking of Gran Azul, it should be time to dive into the Gran Azul email. And it's in Spanish, so I get to use my half semester, or half a semester of Spanish class to <laughs> my advantage. Okay, here we go. Hola amigos, estoy agradecido mis amigos en Wrestling Mayhem Show y mis familia en Lucha Libre on hashtag Big PPC. Ole! 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 You need to get Rosa estoy... Mendez dancing behind you for this segment. <laughs> También estoy muy agradecido por el hermoso pavo que llete de wow, Resident Evil really so me yeah. envió para acción de gracias. Muchas gracias, la familia WMS. Ole. 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 El Gran Azul. And now for our English speakers, which is a lot of you, uh, here's the translation. <laughs> Uh, hello, friends. I am thankful for my friends in Wrestling Mayhem Show and my wrestling family. Even hashtag Big PPC. Ole! Ole! Ole, Ole doesn't everyone. translate? No, Ole no. does not translate. I am Ole also very thankful Ole. for the lovely turkey you folks at Wrestling Mayhem Show sent me for Thanksgiving. Thank you very much, WMS family. Ole! <laughs> oh, I love Ole! <laughs> awesome, awesome. All right, what else we got in the emails? I think this is the uh, foreign one, right? The other the, foreign the one. The other foreign one. Now, there, there is no, of course, there is no DJ Lunchbox, Papa Lunchbox this week. He is returning to the old country. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to die. Oh. I mean, he's, gonna, he's going to Amish? No, no. I, no, you know, that's, that he's would be bad. just finishing up his rum springer. You, you, you know yes. how much they don't like the black folks, so... Oh, okay. Oh. Anyways, uh, but we do have our big PPC email. So how do you? Oh. How are we going to do that? We're going to do kind of a round robin of this thing, right? I think so. Me and, 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 and Bobby, I think you're going to tag team. Okay. Uh, but chunk. Riz, if you want in too, since you are yeah, doing it, I'll take the first chunk. Wow. You. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Go ahead, Bobby. Ready? You ready? What's up, Mayhem crew? It's the big PPC. Oh yes, it's me. It's me. 365 days and counting for CM Punk. Congratulations to Straight Edge Champion, who has ruled the mighty fist taped with X's on them. CM Punk DVD is amazing. So if you don't, <laughs> if you didn't know, by all this Punk re- retained the title against Cena and Ryback, I will say that was my favorite part of the pay-per-view, the main event, Ryback went to his finisher on the outside to both Cena and Punk, and then Punk and Cena teamed up against him with a double suplex through the table. Best part was when Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Reigns whoever, very happy. (laughs) I figured that Cena would lose and there would be some tomfoolery and shenanigans, Hopefully these can be Paul Heyman guys or Swear something. To God, I'm gonna Time look will next tell. Guy shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. Shenanigans makes me hungry. Uh, 
Ziegler, Barrett, Sandal, Dario, and filling in for Cody, who landed on his neck and shoulder on main event, is... There's a long ellipsis. David Otanga. A tonga more like it. <laughs> Otanga. Versus Team Foley. Ms. Orton, Brian, Kane, Kingston. Dolph Ziggler is sole survivor. Not a bad thing. It, it is fucking great. Team Ziggler had more people I enjoyed. D. Brian, <laughs> Kane, and a few others are cool. Oh, and a few others are cool. If you don't know, I have been thinking that Randy Orton is overrated and terrible face. Amen. Somebody else thinks that. Uh, <laughs> or good guy. He can play a heel well, but not so excited to good guy. Bullshit ass Viper Snake Ridiculous fucking 10 time champion, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> and in front, as far as being superstars, make new stars and leave Cena and Norton away from title. Team Brotus, I Flyers. With Tyson Kidd, Justin Gabriel, Rey Mysterio, Sin Cara, and Brodus Clay, the only team member eliminated. The other team, Tensai, Primetime Players, and Epico and Primo, good bonus match. Sheamus vs. Big Show was good again. Looks like we will have a chair match at TLC, fella. He hit him in like Rock vs. Mankind back in the day, minus the headshots. Seamus isn't smiling anymore, fella. Sad face. <laughs> Big Show retained with referee spot and KO punch after broke kick to ref. Antonio Cesaro defeated Little Jimmy and R-Truth. Nuff said. Divas match, Eve wins again. Nothing new. Vicky and AJ segment pointless for the most part. Pre-show 3 MP, baby. Big Team Cobro. The team of Santino and Ryder has officially lost to basically 90% of the roster. Woo, woo, woo. Who cares, bro? I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, good. Okay, now I'm messing with his friend. <laughs> I used to. It's getting hard to figure out where Ryder ends and Santino begins. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. No, are you, wait, 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 wait. Jabapede. Is there like a human centipede between these It's the these human two? jabapede. <laughs> I'll beat each other's asses, damn homie. I will say it. Can't tag. <laughs> okay, raw, raw thoughts. Sandow versus Seamus was brilliant. It oh. was a masterpiece of perfection and brutality. You're welcome, fella. <laughs> now not only is John Cena's penis a troublemaker, but his lips are worse. Him and AJ had John, I bet, got that little Cena chub with the pre cum dot, or was that just 90% of the boys watching? Just turn Jamaican. <laughs> I, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Never, I never said the accent was good. Yeah, these started yeah. promoting WWE. What's next, WWE condoms? I bet yep. John Cena is the spokesperson for this too. His time is up with his the franchise player, and he is shining now. Penis in your mouth, yeah, the condom, play Cena music when put it on revolutionary WWE condoms. Okay, moving on. Cesaro vs. Funkasaurus was great. He Mr. knocks him out with barely European uppercut Mr. and then Bart. deadlifts with neutralizer. Mr. Wowza! I missed the part. No, Wait, I, Shut up. Uh, okay. Orton beat Del Rio for the 20th time. Paul London, or I almost said Paul London. Paul Heyman need balloons. <laughs> Listen to what Big Show has to <laughs> say. <laughs> it's divided with exclamation points. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Feed Ryback more, just not three at a time. Ryback is unstoppable except for the triads, the vigilantes, Rollins, Ambrose, Reigns. It was fantastic seeing Ryback do shell shock. No, she will shock to 10C was impressive. Very happy that Ambrose and Rollins and Reigns are on TV. Great stuff. I hope that Cassius Ono, Richie Steamboat, Bray Wyatt, Jay Carter is Vader's son, will be coming up to roster soon too. 
Question for this week. If you could play Booker for TNA, who would your champions be? If you could name your 10 favorite wrestlers from any promotion, if need be, answer next week. TNA Alleys would be TNA champion. Samoa Joe keeps the TV title. Kaz and Daniels as tag champions. RVD and X Division champions fine. Hannah knockout champ and Eric Young ODB knockout tag champs. My top 10. Austin Aries, Kurt Angle, Cassius Ono, Kevin Steen, El Generico, Wade Barrett, Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, Colt Cabana, Antonio Cesaro. Until next time, it's me, it's me, it's Big PPC. I may not be the longest reigning emailer, but I have consistently emailed for four months and counting. Fact is, the Newbie Award of the Year or Wookiee... Wookiee. Wookie, 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 Wookie of the Year. Rookie fan of the year or best new emailer or something sounded good. Take it easy. <laughs> there That's you go. My Big PBC. So I don't know. Can we rattle off top tens? Um, oh, holy no. shit. Um, I can. I can do this. All right, do it. I do can it. do this. Do not Zack Ryder, not okay. Zack Ryder, not Zack Ryder. Okay. Um, <laughs> Rock, Cena, Punk, uh, Shawn Michaels, Gory, Facade, Oh my God, uh, Michen- Michesney. Um. Oh man, oh man, oh man! I'm failing. Oh, no, I'm we failing. Have to, we have to oh, seven, eight. Seven. Oh. Okay. Um. We'll go. Um. That's where it gets tough. Yeah. Because I named everyone I really wanted to name. Um. We'll throw in. Zack Ryder. Fuck you. <laughs> um. Santino. You know, Stone Cold deserves to be on there. Mm-hmm. Um, so are these all time or just now? Yeah, all sure. time. Is it all time? My all time favorite wrestlers. Bruno San Martino. Um, <laughs> fuck it, I only got eight. <laughs> I can only think of eight. All right, I'll do this. Um, uh, Punk, uh, Angle, and I'm going all time. Like even if they've gone downhill, like there was a time yeah, where like that's yeah. the dude. They're, Hulk they're Hogan. Prime. Sorry, Hulk Hogan. Uh, Macho Man. Uh, what have I said already? Stone Cold. Um, Benoit. Who? Who? Oh, I didn't even think of Benoit. Or All time. Again, yeah. downhill, but as a wrestler. <laughs> You're not supposed to think uh, about him, Chachi. Guerrero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eddie, ben, Eddie Guerrero. Uh, Benoit and Guerrero would be on my list. Yeah, yeah. Uh, downhill easy. is non-existent. Um, I'm going to go with Brett. I was a Brett fan back in the day. Um, Flair. And I only liked Brett because of the sharpshooter. I will always applaud a properly applied sharpshooter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I want to go Lucha. I think I kind of filled the Lucha quote on this. I need one more. One more. Um, El Gran is old. Jericho. Well, I can't believe I didn't say Jericho. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Boom. Uh, Bobby, you got ten. Jericho, Punk, uh, Kurt Angle. I, I have RVD. Barrett, uh, Big Boss Man always was like a personal favorite of mine. I have no idea why, definitely, but he definitely. was always he was always on the list. Uh, Sean, did I say Shawn Michaels? No. Hey, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, uh, Razor Ramon, and I'll say The Rock. Okay. Okay, that's 10. That's 10. Wrestle, he sounds so reluctant. Wrestle fan? I know they're all going to be local Texas guys. It's going to be indie wrestling because nobody <laughs> else follows <laughs> indie wrestling here. Go ahead. Yeah, that's fan. Hey, um, I named I, three indie wrestlers. Wait, wait, wait. I, can name, I can name them for wrestle fan. Mike Quackenbush, Johnny Gargano, uh, Ray Rowe, uh, the, the the guy that kissed him. Um, Mr. Ba- Mr. Ba- <laughs> what? Rachel Summerlin. Uh, Wait, well, those are up there. Uh, I, I'm actually, I'm actually looking at big PPCs, and a lot of them are really good. The, uh, I'll, I'll say this: I replaced Kurt Angle with Rob Van Dam because I was a big Rob Van Dam mark uh, when I was younger, mm-hmm. and I'll replace Wade Barrett with uh, Eddie Guerrero. Okay. But the rest, the, the, the rest, I would keep. The word is fan. Uh, I, I'm, I'm using insider terminology. Yeah, because yeah. they're calling you Russell Mark. Yeah, Sabu. Might as well. <laughs> you might as well. Oh, Sabu. If he if he hit his moves right, Sabu would have been up there. <laughs> when does that ever happen? All right, and, but, uh, for me, I was a huge Bret Hart fan. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like, when I was a kid, Bret Hart was the number one guy. Uh, there was him, S- 
Stone Cold, The Rock. Uh, who else? Shit. I had I had more. Shawn Michaels, Undertaker. Uh, I'm going down the list here for Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, yeah. uh, Antonio Cesaro, Colt Cabana, Punk, and Kurt Angle. Because yeah. he is a local talent who is one of the best. Yeah. In his prime, he was one of the best. Yeah, and he's still not half bad, to be honest. Like, yeah. when he's doing a match that's not surrounded by a bunch of BS, it's usually a good match. I still actually look forward to his pay-per-view matches in TNA because they're usually pretty good. Again, you get to that point where it's like, man, you need to stop doing that, you know, like we do with Flair. But mm-hmm. so, uh, honorable, Alexander... honorable mention. Sorry, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, honorable mention for me, Mr. Kennedy, because yeah. I have his autograph yeah. and he hung out with Mike and Bob. <laughs> nice. And made one of the best videos of all time of them, him yelling Mr. Kennedy in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, Josh? Uh, Alexander Cars in the chat room said <laughs> top 10. Uh, Fright Train, Steve the Turtle, Wiener, Colt Cabana, <laughs> Ultimate Warrior, Pac, uh, Sammy Callahan, Owen Hart, El Generico, Marchie Archie, and El Granazole. <laughs> Right. That's an amazing game. Archibald Archibald Peck would be an honorable honorable mention. Mr. Baseball. It's not Mr. Mr. Baseball. <laughs> That's not Mr. Oh. Baseball. Mr. Baseball. All right. Uh, and parts. with that, we do have a voicemail here, at least one. I think we're going to get another one a little bit later. Uh, but here's one from, well, I think you'll figure out who it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, crap. It is Bo. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I know that the lunchbox loves his new phrase. Jerk him off with your mouth. I've got a better one. Blow him with your hands. What? Blow, him, him. blow him with your hands. Much more fun. And also, uh, I got a little mad uh, when I'm, I'm listening to the show and I hear that you know we're talking about the Survivor Series match. I thought Mad Mike was calling me out. I had to rewind it. And I was going to put Mad Mike on blast. I decided not to. So you know what? Boom, I'm putting nobody on blast this week. Both teams <laughs> having a good time. Ball still great. Hair is in the right places. So Whoa. enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the show. Maybe, just maybe, Wrestle Fan will blow you with his hands. <laughs> Woo! Just maybe. F diggity. The F is for Felicio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, there you go. Bo fucking diggity. And that's my voicemail. And if you didn't hear, the F <laughs> is for, for Felicio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Russell <laughs> fans, speaking of Felicio, it's time for the amateur falling down segment in the Indie Minute. Tell me what's going on with the people not on TV. Indie Minute Tea Break, go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for this week in indie wrestling. And the biggest news in all of independent wrestling to come out of this week in the indie world is Mad Mike went to Chikara this past weekend. So we're going to hear... Oh, my God. So we're going to hear a little Dirt bit Dirt sheets were Mike. picking up. Yeah. They, were, they were going wild over the news. Wonder if oh, yeah. Any, that oh, yeah. It's, um, the indie, uh, indie fans are jerking it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so he sent in an email kind of recapping uh, his uh, time at the Cybernetica Rises event in, uh, in uh, Manhattan, I believe. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Mad Mike sends in. Chikara, you guys. Wow. So much fun. First off, I have to give credit to the Highline Ballroom. I had never been there before, but it was a tiny nightclub in the ring right up next to the stage and virtually no room between the ring and the guardrail. Note, this will come into play later. But first off, I brought a friend who had never seen one single match of professional wrestling. He wanted to go because he heard an interview with Quack and identified a lot with him. Some of his interesting notations of his were, Oh, so this guy is Bane, speaking about the shard. I love that the guy. The, I love that the football guy wears pads. Speaking about Mr. Touchdown, who got a huge ovation when he tebowed in the middle of his match with Soldier Ant. Icarus looks like a rapist. Fairly self-explanatory. Wait, one, two, three, kid is X Pac. And so. Pinkle is Einhorn. <laughs> so, the heartthrobs are just gay, right? <laughs> 
Uh, he also loved the colony and wants to see them in a trios match. He thought Dasher Hatfield was tremendous. We both flipped out when Soldier Ant sold that he got one of his antennas ripped off his mask. He thought it was kind of scary what Marty was doing, uh, but Kid uh, looked like he was having a blast. Also, the jigsaw heel turn was different as he was pissed off someone took out Quack. Chikara sold my friend before the intermission, and then we had the Cybernetico itself. Such an amazing match, over an hour long and full of amazing action. Having never seen 3.0 or the Bravados before, was equally impressed by both teams. The only really slow parts of the match was when Frightmare and Jagged were getting worked over for a considerable amount of time. The Young Bucks are amazing heels. Someone screamed TNA Reject, and Matt, I think, screamed, We quit, you dorks! Uh, my buddy loved Frightmare and Hollow Wicked. We both thought that Jay Briscoe killed Hollow Wicked with a huge powerbomb like move he hit. The match told a great story with Eddie eyeing up Steen the entire match, but then getting blindsided by Donst, his own teammate. Donst then decided to make it really interactive for us as he threw Kingston Hart into the guardrail right in front of us. The rail smashed into my legs and pushed both both our chairs back, then continued to badmouth him and hold the rail against my knees. Still a great time, though. Kevin Steen is such a fun heel to watch work, and him and the Bucks were the highlight of Team ROH, and they were bound-mouthing us and, and glad-handing each other the whole match. Also, it's scary how much Jimmy Jacobs looks like Jeff Hardy, only sober. But seriously, if you've never seen Chikara live, do it. Me and my friend may even get the iPay-Per-View after it airs and stream it with Jigsaw vs. Quack and Dons vs. Kingston. Those are going to be two amazing matches. White Alchemist ending transmission. P.S. Don't get the Frightmare French fries. Not that great. <laughs> also, I don't know. I know he was tweeting about the Frightmare French fries, but I don't know what that really entails. I'll, I'll have to uh, sort of look into that. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's good to see that Mad Mike sort of enjoyed uh, his first Shakara show. And good to end. I love the fact that he brought someone that has never seen wrestling before in his life, <laughs> and they take him to he takes him to a Shakara show. That's uh, that's a good way to sort of get them started Chikara off. If I can butt in. Yeah, Chikara just seems like that company that you can actually take someone who hasn't seen wrestling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and who hasn't had the experience that we've all had in the past with wrestling and get them hooked on the good aspects of professional mm -hmm. wrestling. Mm -hmm. the, oh, yeah. The, the good storytelling in Chikara or – as we'll get into later, uh, Wrestling is Fun, which is a sister company of Shikara. Um, but it just seems like if you want someone or something to do, there's a wrestling show that's awesome. And you can just get hooked on that. Mm -hmm. And now, granted, you're not going to see fighting ants or, <laughs> or like a marching band fight in WWE or TNA. Well, but, maybe TNA. <laughs> maybe TNA. But you'll still get good wrestling, and you'll know what to look for, and you'll right. really have fun. Because <laughs> wrestling is, is fun. It's, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's really yeah. fun. Um, yeah. it, it's take, it really seems like these, these are... Uh, I've been to a couple of Chikara shows. I know, uh, 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 WrestleFan, you've been to one up here, uh, up in Cleveland. Yeah, that was a fun show. Um, I mean, it, was... it, it's something you can go to, even if you're not following all the storylines and everything, which would be high on hard because you kind of have to get all the DVDs, watch all the podcasts, whatever. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, but... <laughs> But yeah, it's something you can go to. It's colorful. It's different, and I think it kind of appeals to a lot of more. Mr. Baseball, mm -hmm. right, Bobby? <laughs> 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 but it's it's right. It, it, it's you you can't take it seriously. There's no reason for you to take this seriously. So well, if you are, they're fighting right? for a banana. It's still real to me, damn as, it. As far as character wise. That, that, as far as character-wise, yeah, you can't really take them seriously, but they have phenomenal professional wrestling in general in Chicago. Yeah, they do. They do. I mean, there's not, the talent's amazing, but it's colored in such a way that you're not sitting there saying, okay, this is a competitive sport, and if it looks fake, you know, and, and you're like oh, analyzing yeah. it and getting comic book guy over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, right. and that's why, though, I think that's why those kinds of people dislike this. 
because of like that's not real wrestling you know they want their competitive uh, rohs and evolves and dragon gates and stuff like that but this yeah. isn't for them the cool thing about wrestling uh we had a conversation about how ring of honor is not going to appeal to the same fans of wwe exactly. you're going to have start having these different flavors of wrestling and i think you're going to find these wrestling niches ring of honor has their niche but guys like Evolve and Dragon Gate, uh, Dragon Gate are, are serving a similar niche. Chikara, CZW, CZW is doing that hardcore niche matches. still. I mean, Extreme Rising pushed uh, 800 to 1,000 people into the Golden <sighs> Dome up here locally, which is and, <laughs> and people people that are in there that, that watch the show say that's really sad because there's good wrestling and they're not getting that many people in this area. Exactly. But they're it, compared to what that Extreme Rising show was, and I don't think it was horrible from what I hear, but it wasn't really that fantastic either um so i mean it, it's it, it, it's it so you're gonna see this kind of separation and and, and i don't know what tna is trying to do there's people that want the tna because it kind of hits on the whole wcw attitude era i think uh that you're not seeing in wwe you know yeah i guess i, I you're you, again your ring of honor is hitting the more competitive i just want wrestling not the bs storylines uh, and, and the way the way I describe Jakar is that it's the perfect combination of Ring of Honor and Kaiju Big Battle. Exactly. Like, Ring of Honor is the extreme like wrestling. Kaiju Big Battle is the extreme like character like ridiculousness. Jakar mm-hmm. is the perfect combination of both. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like a comic book come to life. <laughs> <laughs> so, mm-hmm. so you can start getting into the different kinds. Or if you're tired of the same wrestling, you can go somewhere else. Right. Yeah. Speaking on the same front. Uh, Wrestle fan brought up Kaiju Big Battle. Mm-hmm. When mm-hmm. when we were watching Wrestling is Fun, they had a promo video of. Did they have a promo video or was that just a preview? Like they had just the picture of Kaiju Big Battle, and that's going to be their new on demand. They're going to nice. have a new new channel for Kaiju Big Battle. Nice. nice. So I might have to watch that. Nice. That'll be really cool. But yeah, speaking of Chikara, uh, like Mike mentioned in the end of the email, uh, coming up December 2nd is their big uh, iPay-Per-View, their final show of 2012, uh, entitled Under the Hood, that you can buy on iPay-Per-View at smartmark vid- uh, smvod.com, which is smartmarkvideoondemand.com. Uh, if you can't uh, get the uh, iPay-Per-View, if you're in the Philadelphia era, Philadelphia area, excuse me, uh, the show will be at the Trocadero. It looks like a great card so far. Uh, Eddie Kingston versus Tim Dodds for the Grand Championship. Uh, big uh, 10-man tag, Special Envoy against the Batiri, Delirious, and Ophidian. Uh, ACH, big star up here, gets his shot at the Young Lions Cup against Mr. Touchdown. Um, and it's, it's going to be an awesome show. So um, I encourage you to either get your tickets at ChikaraPro.com or buy the iPay-Per-View at SMVOD.com. Check them out. Uh, and if you want to uh, feel what Mad Mike felt uh, at the Chicago show this past weekend, I definitely encourage you to check them out. Mm-hmm. Um, and we sort of mentioned it before. Uh, Riz and Bobby got to check out the Wrestling is Fun iPay-Per-View that was on uh, Smart Mark Video on Demand. Do you guys have anything else uh, besides uh, sort of the stuff we already mentioned? Uh, Mr. Baseball. Like, like <laughs> what else can we say of what we haven't said before? It, 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 it even says fun. it in the title. I heard, I heard the Estonian Thunder Frog uh, has a partner now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, I forget what the partner was called. Uh, the Latvian. It was like the Latvian. Great tree or something? Great Oak. Great Oak. The Latvian right. Great Oak. Yeah, the oak. Latvian Great Oak. He kind of looked like Zillary. It was like the Great Oak in Legend of <laughs> Zelda. I am going to name Don't him Wilted skinny. Celery. Because <laughs> he looked like Wilted Celery. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but seriously, the the I've watched two of them right now, mm-hmm. and I want to go to Allentown. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to road trip. Road trip. <laughs> like, uh, I keep on getting things from Jr.'s barbecue sauce. Anyways, uh, um, Man yeah. Ortiz in the that chat room said it was for all the potassium. And all the, the potassium. Possessor the of the potassium. That's what Mister Touchdown is. Really and Mike Quackenbush wishes he was. It was Mr. Flame Pants this week. Yeah, <coughs> he was. That's Mr. awesome. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, it was a great show. It was a mm-hmm. fun show to watch. <laughs> and like they put on a good show each time. So I'm, every time that they have a free pay-per-view, they're free, I, what do they call it? A free-per-view? Free-per-view, I guess, would be the word. Free-per-view. 
uh, I will definitely watch it. And if it, if they do make it an eye pay per view in general, I might have to buy it. That would be good, yeah. I and, I'm, and apparently they've also have another sister company called Wrestling Is Awesome that I want to check out, <laughs> which features a uh, friend of the show Dalton Castle. Do they do they fight for an orange? <laughs> No, they cool. fight for another banana, but <laughs> this one is not very ripe. It's like a plantain. It's, it's, a, it's a green it. banana. Where is yeah. this at? Um, the wrestling is awesome. I believe that's. Uh, I believe that they, they're in New Jersey. I think. And then, something. like, how do I find out about it? Uh, I believe it's wiawesome dot com. I want to say. Uh, if you, you if you Google wrestling is awesome, I believe you. No, have you the, don't. Uh, <laughs> no, you don't. You Trust don't. Me. Uh, well, I, I had heard it from some people. That all right, were, all right. Here we go. Search off. There you go. You find Wrestling it? is awesome. Wiawesome.com. It's feather bottom. An awesome debut. Do you mean cotton belly? Cotton, whatever. <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> what are they doing with all the? Is, is this pretty much like what we were talking about about having the same flavors, but now they're doing it with a lot of the kind of thunder frog? I mean, it, this this sounds like a lot of the same people you guys are seeing in in uh, wrestling is fun. Yeah, sort of. A, cu- a couple makes of different people too. Oh, I see. Too. Okay, so so we got like the, like Green Ant, submission specialist, heavy hit striker Anthony Stone, Dom Castle, a real party peacock. So so it looks like. So it looks like they are coloring this towards fighting styles. Portia Perez, oh. a bombastic brat. Uh, it, it's still a little tongue in cheek, though. So I'm wondering. <laughs> They're fun. They, they have fun with the adjectives, apparently. Uh, but yeah, but uh, wrestling is awesome. I believe this show is coming up. Maybe I want to say it's either next month or like in 2013. I'm not sure. Um, but hope I, I definitely want to keep up with that too. I, uh, I it's I it, I think it could develop into some really awesome stuff, and I love the sister promotion sort of stuff they're doing with Chikara. So uh, uh, I, I hope can, to definitely keep you uh, updated uh, uh, on the uh, in the minute about uh, any progression that comes from uh, that company. Mm-hmm. Can I, can I just read uh, the what is wrestling is awesome from their website on the FAQ? Uh, wrestling also uh, is awesome is a new uh, professional wrestling league providing family entertainment to the New York and New England areas. It is forged from the ashes of real action wrestling, main event wrestling, and the short-lived but critically acclaimed Chachi pa- Pac-Man Wrestling Federation. What? Wait, what? Pac-Man Wrestling Federation. Wow. Why is, why is why do we not know about this thing? <laughs> exactly. Well, it was short-lived, when, so. Um, I wonder when that company folded if it went <laughs> 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 All right, uh, no, that's awesome. I like seeing these spinoffs, and I like that it, again. There, there's this focus on you know for whatever you like about Chikara, it's family focused, and it's hard to get that a lot you know these days. Like Ring of Honor, definitely not family focused. A lot of swearing during that show. You know, Extreme Rising, Kevin, same Kevin thing. Seen it. Dirty, dirty man. Uh, even locally, I know like RWA doesn't really kind of lets their wrestlers go as far as their language, and there are kind of a lot of kids there. Uh, IWC tries to 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 reel it in after it kind of went crazy at the beginning of the year. Have you have you ever seen kids at wrestling shows, Sword? Oh, kids at wrestling shows are the worst. They are they are they are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. They are as much as they don't like agreeing with Riz, he's. Right. He's yeah, not I, wrong. I, but summer. It's, I mean, but still, summer. I, I mean, for the longest time, like you look at like WWE's product, even though it's W, you know, w, TV PG for the kids or whatever, they're still having scandals and all this stuff. You know, I mean, it's so proper stuff. Then again, most of the parents that are letting their kids watch wrestling probably really don't give a crap. Anyways. Exactly. So, but but still, I mean, that's something for the parent groups, and maybe but, you know, I mean, some but, there are parents that are concerned about that, and they hear yeah. family friendly, and it's going to appeal to them i think and uh, there was like a meme on uh wrestling memes or wwe memes or one of the facebook things i follow which compares the attitude era to the pg era Mm -hmm. and one of them was uh, and one of the things i thought of was that in wwe now you have this aj and uh and cena scandal yeah and they just start kissing yeah Mm -hmm. and the Attitude Era, you had uh, Tori Wilson's dad and Don Marie. Underwear wedding. Getting, yeah, getting married in underwear. <laughs> mm. And then Tori Wilson's dad passes away and 
<laughs> character. Yeah. So yeah. scandal. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, but still, it's but a little more risque, right? Yeah, like they're, yeah. they're still. I mean, they're they had to made out make out in the ring, but that was really about it. Oh, John Cena's in a towel, you know. So yeah, nope. the rest of us are like, really? John Cena really? tripped because he had a boner. Uh, yeah, Mando, exactly. Mando Ortiz in the chat says that children are tiny, tiny little Hitlers. Yeah, oh, they really are. Hmm. Wow, wow. Um, hey, all right, what else we got in the indies, sir? A uh, couple things uh, to finish off here on the Indie Minute. Uh, first of all, uh, some developments from our, our good friends down here in Texas at Anarchy Championship Wrestling. Uh, last night they announced the big main event for their upcoming December 16th show, uh, Delusions of Our Childish Days, in Austin, Texas. This is going to be a big one uh, because, uh, as we know, uh, last uh, at their last event, Rachel Summerlin, uh, the, one of the American Joshis, won the ACW Heavyweight Championship. She will be making her first defense of the ACW heavyweight title, uh, not just in a regular match, but against five other Joshis, five other female wrestlers, in a six Joshi family Christmas death match for the ACW heavyweight title. It's, it's going to be probably one of the greatest things you could possibly see. It's, it, that's the thing with ACW is that they are breaking, they are the epitome of breaking boundaries when it comes to females in professional wrestling, not only allowing their females to compete and win the heavyweight championship, but in a uh, match completely full of, uh, of females all competing for the heavyweight title and in, in a Christmas death match, no less. Uh, so I definitely encourage you to check that out. Uh, that <laughs> they're very, they're very like choking them with a string of lights. <laughs> well, yeah, they, it's a, it's actually a tradition for them every year. Uh, basically it's just weapons that are wrapped up like Christmas presents. Uh, so it's, it's a, it's a fun, it's a fun time. Um, oh my God, it's, King, she's got the candy cane shank. Um, but that but that's gonna be really good uh in that match actually uh uh, tna knockout former tna knockout christina von erie will be back down to acw uh for that show and also uh also uh in that event uh the wsu women's champion or uh, world champion for uh, women superstars and censor jessica havoc We'll be back in ACW to face Biohazard Jakus Pliskin in a one-on-one match. Uh, so right now the card for that event looks stacked. Uh, if you want your tickets, uh, go to AnarchyChampionshipWrestling.com. And I hope to see everyone there uh, December 16th from, if you are in the Austin, Texas from, area. From the chat. Oh, God, not the gingerbread men. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> they got Jessica Rabbit? Hey. I got it. and you forget that you forget that we live in Pittsburgh. We live and in there Pittsburgh. is indie news in Pittsburgh right there now. There is some indie news in Pittsburgh what? right now. Oh, did you want to talk about that? Wait, which I don't even know what we're talking about. I don't know where you're going, Wiz. I was going to talk about a certain somebody returning to IWC. Sexy really? Chucky T. Yeah, it oh, is. I was just looking at that. And look who he's facing. Friend of the oh, show, Dalton oh, Castle. That's going to be awesome. Drink. Friend of the show, drink. 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 I just, drink. I just hope he brings the Swamp Monster with him. Yes, I want to see the Swamp Monster. <laughs> I don't think he's going to bring yeah. the Swamp Monster to IWC. And some other matches, we've got a six-man tag, including the return of John Bull in here. Uh, Bobby Fish, Anthony Nice, nice and two others uh, will be uh, in a four-way match to become number one contender for the Super Indie title. So uh, nice. looking forward to see who gets... I mean, that's it's still big... two big names. Bobby Fish versus Logan Shulo was pretty decent uh, from Combat and Clearfield, now available on DVD at SorgatronMedia.com. Um, but, uh, yeah. yeah. That so looks like a, quite a big uh, cutout there. Yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> that guy. <laughs> you know, just general cutouts, but other than that. And, and of course, uh, headlined by the big, big... Uh, 30 man, uh, I'm sorry, 30 man, um, Iron, 30 man, man, Iron, man, 30 man. man oh. Iron Man match. 30 man Iron Man match. No, no, like 30 form. minute Iron Man match between Logan Shulo and uh, Michael Facade, uh, title versus title. Mm. Yep. Nice. Both are on the line. Mm. So it's going to be your big WrestleMania 6 moment here without the suck. <laughs> Without the roids, I uh, know uh, Facade uh, making an appearance lately. I didn't hear much about how that part went, but uh, Facade made an appearance on the uh, Extreme Rising IP review that took place here in Pittsburgh. Uh, um, and in and too bad, too bad, uh, uh, LB isn't here because it looks like uh, Matt Hardy fell on his head at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Wait, why am I laughing uh, at that? There, there's footage out there on the internet if you want to go see how that happened. It looks like no, I don't, no, no, no. 
What? He was tweeting the other day. He's fine. Oh, he's tweeting. Today. He's fine. He's fine. No, that it's just fine. it's just every other word's like. <laughs> 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 oh, just so you should not be laughing at this part. Um, uh, it's okay. He tastes it's people. Party. Anything else? Uh, the very last thing that I want to note is um, our good friends in the Cleveland, Ohio area for Absolute Intense Wrestling have an event coming up this weekend, the 23rd, oh, yeah. Hell on Earth 8 in Cleveland, Ohio at the Turner's Hall. Uh, it looks like a pretty stacked event uh, with a lot of friends of the show, including friend of the show, Johnny Gargano, uh, going one-on-one with ROH Great. star Michael Elgin. Oh, my um, God. <laughs> which that is going to be absolutely awesome. Uh, it's, and like I said, it's a great lineup of uh, some of the top stars on the independents, a lot of friends of the show, some stars uh, that I've seen down in – you see in IWC, some stars that you can see in ACW. Uh, it's going to be an awesome show. So if you want more information on that, go to AIWrestling.com mm-hmm. to go get your tickets for that event. Uh, you mentioned – I'm sorry. You mentioned uh, 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 Gregory Irons here doing an interesting angle with uh, Veda Scott. We see yes, he's listed on here as will make a statement. Can you do a real quick rundown stuff, of what he's doing? Their stuff has been absolutely phenomenal. I, I, there's a couple videos I know online of some of the promo stuff they've done. Two people that I think are very underrated on the independents doing really amazing stuff in AIW. Basically, Gregory Iron recently made his heel turn in AIW uh, <laughs> where he uh, talked about how the fans have sort of deserted him and aren't behind him anymore, even though he's overcome so much. Uh, and Veda Scott, who, for those that do not know, is literally I, – I believe she just recently completed law school. Like she's literally – Hat is a lawyer now. She's the uh, other Otunga. Otunga, uh, Otunga and Scott attorneys at law. <laughs> She's Otunga, but much better looking. Um, and with smaller tits. Depends on who's looking. <laughs> uh, but, uh, I'm surprised WrestleFan took, did that. What the hell? <laughs> basically, she has taken up uh, Gregory Irons' counsel, I guess, in a sense. Uh, and they are banding together to make a new AIW, uh, including uh, in, in what Veda Scott uh, deems in an order of fairness, uh, instituting a four count whenever Gregory Irons' shoulders are uh, to the mat, just to be fair and even, uh, <laughs> which I... Which I find hilarious. Um, and I, I definitely think, as I mentioned before, those two were very underrated, I think, on the independents. And they're amazing stars. Gregory Iron uh, has gotten a lot of press, uh, definitely, from his recent stuff. And he's a phenomenal athlete. Uh, Beta Scott is another like very very well-trained uh, and uh, well-versed uh, female athlete. She recently did a tour in Japan, I know, recently. Um, and also, she's come down for ACW for the Queen of Queens did, tournament. Did you mention she, she's in Ring of Honor? She's uh, she's actually does uh, some some uh, uh, interviewing for Ring yeah, of Honor. Yeah, she's kind of she's the Christy Hemme of Ring of Honor, yeah, which is yeah. really kind of a shame because uh, she's actually a really amazing talent. Uh, so, yeah, uh, d- definitely I want to see how, uh, how that story develops. Uh, it should be really awesome stuff. So, like I said, if you want tickets for that event, if you want to see all that great wrestling action, go to AIWrestling.com uh, for more information. And that, my friends, is the Indie Minute for this week. Holy Thank shit. you very much. Indie Minute, that was a good one. The um, Indie Half Hour. Yes. Uh, but, you know, it's good stuff, <laughs> though. Yeah, we, we, did, you know what? we did We did awesome. Good I'm job. loving this. I'm loving this. By the way, by the way, but speaking of Indie Minute, Ring of Honor uh, this week. If you checked this last week, hey, make an appearance at the beginning. Hi. Sword's there. Hi. Sword's there. Hi. I'm not terribly excited looking because I didn't think the camera would be on me. But, hey, there you go. Representing. Um, so keep an eye on that. I guess the next six or seven weeks of wrestling. <laughs> or wow, whatever it is, uh, keep an eye out. You have like a sword counter. I will tell you if you look in the crowd, you have the potential to find local wrestlers, mayhemers, and uh, probably a few other faces you've seen on the mayhem show here before. By by, by mayhemers, he means sword. It was, it was, well, me and Missy, but and Missy. I, th- I don't think anybody else went from here. No. Uh, but uh, and and some other familiar faces that maybe we've had around. So, so go check that out. Um, but yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, now you, we were going to check. This is the part where we go to the break, and you're going to check out gold. This part right here. Right here. Right here. You're going to check out gold. Uh, we're going to check out a trailer that's been there for too right long because I need more trailers. Uh, but, but that's fine. That's fine. There's some more coming. Uh, and we'll I'm be back. Fan and we're going to tell you why we're thankful uh, for wrestling and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll see you then. Press this button here. Uh, you think it's? I think it's this one. Okay, both well, you guys can be right back on here because uh, uh, LB will be here. And Bobby says, "Ah." And what'd you say, Bobby? I said I was hoping WrestleFan wouldn't be here. 
<laughs> there's you guys. This is, how I, I, this is how I view you guys. Click. This is how he sees you. Whoa, whoa. Uh, whoa, go drop us. My favorites. No, my favorite skit of all time is the Cowboy skit, of course. I want to go back and watch old SNLs and get jokes that I never got when I was a kid. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on the Wrestling Man Show, and instead of a remember when, let's do a uh, what are you thankful for in pro wrestling? Uh, I want to do a couple. I threw this out earlier on the Twitters. Uh, we did get us one response at least on there. Um, do 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 do, uh, and and I and I, I don't have it right now. I can't find it. Sorry, I had it. I had it. I had it. Uh, oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, no, no, yeah, I pointed out earlier on the show, and uh, uh, at New Age uh, Amazon says, Damien Sandow, you're welcome. Uh-huh. Chachi, you had a text from somebody. Yeah, a uh, friend of the show, Chris, oh. said uh, CM Punk. Yes, yes. So uh, let's go around the horn. And again, chat room, go ahead and put uh, in the in the in in there uh, uh, what you're thankful for. And if this one thing works, maybe we'll do it this uh, other way we're working on that we might be bringing back. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, Mr. Raceball. <laughs> you, uh, I, uh, yeah, okay. Um, oh, what, <laughs> what is happening? What is What's going on? I have on? no idea. <laughs> So, uh, so that's happening. Um, what the fuck? In the hangout. What the <laughs> actual <laughs> fuck? <laughs> there is a monkey being eaten by some <laughs> kind of lizard thing. Who uh, is that? I have no idea. Uh, Jer- Jeremy. Thank God. What um, the fuck? So we're going to try that. We don't have your audio on uh, uh, just yet, guys. Um, so, so we'll roll. <laughs> no, really. What the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> Chachi. I am broken. What the? F- what are you thankful for in pro wrestling this year? Right now? <laughs> yes. Absolutely nothing. Okay. I am still wow. being. Last night they gave Ryback back a microphone, and I'm supposed to be thankful. Fuck you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bring yeah. it back. Up until that point, what were you thankful for? CM What's Punk. the silver lining on this one? CM, so- CM Punk is a champ. What? Yeah. Okay. For the past year. For one year. Yes. That's been a year. And one day. 366 days. Nice, nice. Now, now what, what, are you, what are you thankful for that? What, what has he done uh, uh, up until this point here? It's been fun. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, it, it's not... It's monkey not no. The monkey whole no. Cena thing. Oh, stay away from the monkey. Because, I mean... Uh-huh. Uh, the, oh. Cena and Sheamus are boring champs. But CM Punk is making it fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it brought back Paul Heyman, mm-hmm. which has been fun. That's fun. So, uh, uh, CM Punk is champ is what I'm thankful for up until this whole Ryback thing. All right, wrestle fan, what are you thankful in wrestling, sir? I am thankful for a couple things, ladies and gentlemen. I swear to God, I'm thankful. You say Ryback, Antonio- right I'll fucking kill you. No, none of them have Ryback right in it. That's I'm thankful for David. Why would I ever abs. be thankful for him? <laughs> I'm, I'm, abs. I, I'm thankful for Antonio Cesaro and Damian Sandow. For giving us dumb wrestling fans the reality check we truly need. <laughs> I'm thankful for Caitlyn being on my screen more. Because damn. Yes, and sir. finally, uh, in all seriousness, I'm thankful for, th- especially this past year, being around some really awesome independent wrestling. Yes, I'm going to be that guy. Um, but it's, I mean, You just, always are that guy. I oh. know. But uh, especially from the fact that, you know, me being from Corpus Christi, for those that don't know, Corpus Christi is a wasteland. It has nothing. Like, there is literally nothing there. And in the past year, to sort of get all this great stuff is kind of, uh, I'm de- that is definitely something to be thankful for. So, 
uh, I am thankful for all of that <laughs> stuff. And I'm thankful for you guys. Aww. You are such a kiss. Thank ass. you. Fuck you, yeah. Russell yeah. Spider. You are not winning Mayhem Mayhammer of the Year. That is for sure. <laughs> well, it's, it's not even campaigning for Mayhem I just I just heard sensitive guys get all the pussy, so we just deorganized. <laughs> what? Oh! what? Oh, we did it! Okay, that, oh. that was, okay. Yes! Yes! Right. Well done, Russell fan! Well done! Bobby, what did you I learn? Shut for, up! I'm sorry, what did I'm you... clapping for WrestleFan. <laughs> yes! Are we doing a slow clap? <laughs> sorry, I had to switch so I well, stopped clapping. Well done, sir. Well done. <laughs> five uh, 5,000 touchy points for you. Hey! That's now he's still in the negatives. Riz, what are you thankful for this hey. year? AJ, AJ, okay. Not 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 our AJ. Not AJ Styles. AJ Lee, okay. AJ For being AJ Lee, okay. And being fucking adorable in anything <laughs> she does. She like, is adorable. She is so do. I want I want to like take her and I want to. Pinch your cheeks. You want to put like her just, in your pocket and take wow. her home, right? That is not where I want to put her. Like, I want to cut a hole through my pocket and then <laughs> put her in my pocket. And wow. let her go to town. Wow. Yes. All right, Bobby, what are you thankful for this year? Mr. Baseball. This Mr. Baseball. baseball. <laughs> now, I'm thankful for all my friends that I met through the show. Mm. Uh, and and wrestling giving me escapism, like I said on the other show, uh, video games. Same thing with wrestling, and CM Punk being champ for three three sixty five, and Randy Orton losing a match at SummerSlam. <laughs> yes, awesome. Uh, from the chat, Mando Ortiz uh, says he's thankful for companies like Jakara and the cream of the WWE rising to the top. Also for Antonio Cesaro's <laughs> cream. luscious body hair. It's very European. Uh, now, something we're kind of experimenting with here. You saw a little bit of if you're on the video. Uh, we're kind of sort of bringing back. Now, Now you can only hear me, uh, I think, in here. Uh, so, uh, uh, Alexander, you in there? The monkey and alligator. Oh, wait, the monkey and alligator. Wait. There you go. There you are. What are you thankful for, sir? I'm thankful for... Everything that everyone else already said, because everyone already took my ideas. Oh. <laughs> We're sorry. I'm thankful, Are you thankful for, for Mr. Baseball. Thankful for the companies down here in Southern California, uh, companies like Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, formerly affiliated with the NWA, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> Never heard of it. I'm just thankful for uh, PWG Pro Wrestling Gorilla, and again for companies like Chikara, the show that you can actually have family-friendly fun with wrestling. Wrestling is wrestling. fun. There, that's my... Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> thanks, thanks. We're going to check in. We, we just basically Short, had this idea. did you say? Oh, did I say? Did I say just anything? Say. I'm so thankful I get to sit through three hours of wrestling every Monday night. <laughs> Fuck oh, you. Although last night it was pretty rough. It was rough last night. Yeah, I, rough. And I was 45 minutes late. Um, no, nah, that, that's definitely one of the things I'm not thankful for right now because it feels it, – seriously, you guys are making Mondays feel like a chore. Um, you are? Not you. Not you guys. <laughs> oh, 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 I was like, thanks. <laughs> wow, fuck you too, hey. Sword. <laughs> that was oh, this has been a great month for me. Day. You guys are my tools and <laughs> – Now you call us tools? I go, hey. hey. No, you guys didn't catch that pod camp where I called you all tools? No, but now we know. <laughs> now feelings are hurt. We're not talking anymore. No, no, that, no, go check out that day two uh, QA. I, I, you'll, you'll see what I mean. I, and I wrote, a, I wrote a blog about it, too. Um, like you wrote a blog about calling us tools? Yeah, I did. Go check out my blog. Nobody reads my blog. This, this goes to show. Nobody reads my blog. Call everybody tools. And that's why we're tools. Because you don't, <laughs> you don't read my blog, you're tools. <laughs> and it says, all of you that don't read my blog, you're tools. Uh, no, what am I thankful for? I, I am thankful for uh, kind of the return of Ring of Honor, kind of like seeing kind of that realization about this variety that's going on here. Uh, I'm thankful for, uh, I've been for a few years, but I, I'm more so thankful this year. Uh, the town coming through lately. 
Uh, it's really cool. Like both groups that we're working with, uh, with IWC and RWA, there, there's there's uh, a lot of great talent coming through. Be it IWC, seeing guys like a Chuck Taylor or our Bobby Fish coming coming in there, uh, because it's returning. I think to the reason we went to it in the first place here locally. Uh, guys coming in and we get to see what's going on out there. You know what I mean? Like they take a stop through Pittsburgh. You know, on their path to wherever awesomeness, like, and, and you know, some of these guys' cases, Ring of Honor, they're going to, uh, and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, and 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 I'm thankful for my team that's been uh, kind of, uh, you know, Chachi here, has been really good about uh, really been getting better about bringing that out there, so people get to check out what's happening here locally. What? Yeah. So, what did Chachi uh, do now? Do? If you want to hear a compliment, you'll have to actually listen back to the show. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> So when and that, also, I, I, if I want to get, can we get techie here for a minute? Okay, I I'm thankful for Google Plus. Yeah, because yeah. because on Mondays, Sundays, Wednesdays, sometimes you know, like, pretty much Thursdays, Fridays, random eye pay per view Saturdays, <laughs> eye pay per views. We all sit around our computer watching it on we have with no everybody. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds I mean, so it was, sad, but it's so awesome. It yeah, I mean, just like, last night, I mean, look at look at you know uh, you know Alexander here from freaking California joining us yeah. on the show, uh, and, you know, and joins us. You know, Monday night we got him in California. We got uh, uh, most of us from Roundabouts Pittsburgh, but in Johnstown and stuff. But we're all like, I mean, that's like a giant like me one to two hour range of of driving yeah. between all of <laughs> us. You know, uh, WrestleFan, yeah, WrestleFan in San Antonio, Texas. We're covering at least three time zones here. AJ down in North Carolina or wherever the hell he's hotel room he's at this week. Um, it, it's fantastic. And, and it really is feel like we're all just kind of. It, Bo Diggity lives in Bo Diggity land. You, up in Bo Diggity <laughs> land. That's a whole different time zone, right? Um, well, it's own city. Bo Diggity Every land. The zone. F is for freedom. <laughs> 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 nice, nice. You didn't say an F. Yeah, he said freedom. <laughs> no, he what? just said you said Bo Diggity Land. The F oh is, yeah, he did. You didn't say you didn't say an Bo F. Oh, I got you, Bo F Diggity Land. <laughs> okay, Bo F Diggity Land. <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> you just said Bo Diggity Land. There's no F in Bo Diggity. <laughs> There's uh, a there silent F. Bo Diggity. All right. On that note, uh. Thank you. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving and everything. Uh, and and, Eat some and meat. watch watch an old thing. Watch an old Survivor series on Thanksgiving. Instead of TNA, right. that's going to be on TNA. Oh no! Oh, they're going to have that turkey costume again, aren't they? Ah, oh, no! That's horrible. Watch the uh, Bobby Gooker match. What's that? Watch the Gobbledy Gooker. Gobbledy Gooker. <laughs> they just signed the Gobbledy Gooker because he's been left out on. Uh, <laughs> Didn't they, don't they already have signed the gar, the godly gooker? I who, yeah, probably isn't Hector. Wasn't Hector? Hector Guerrero? Guerrero. <laughs> oh, He's oh, right. He's completely Hector right. Guerrero. All right. On that note, how do I mute this thing? Because I need to show a video. Oh, well, right now we're gonna go to Mad Mike with his minute of mayhem. We'll be right back. Mike, once again with your Minute of Mayhem. As you can tell, I'm at work again. But, you know, fuck it, whatever. Um, Survivor Series was interesting. Uh, wasn't really that exciting, except actually the Sheamus Big Show match. Sheamus lifting Big Show up on his shoulders for an electric chair. That's fucking impressive. I don't care who the hell you are. I don't even know if Cena could do that. I'm sure he probably could. But, you know, it was still damned impressive. Um, nice to see... Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and the other guy, who is not really that big of a buzz. I don't know why it wasn't Brad Maddox, but I see them debuting and, again, causing Ryback to lose without losing, so of course you know we're going to get a Ryback Punk table match at TLC. And, of course, after the Sheamus match, we know Sheamus and Big Show is going to be a chair match. And I'm guessing the tag team champion match is going to be the TLC. As far as the ladder match, I don't know. Maybe I'd like to see maybe uh, Cesaro in a ladder match. That'd be cool. Maybe Cesaro and Gabriel or maybe Kofi and Miz or maybe 
Cena Ziggler for AJ's panties. I don't know. I guess most of you guys would flock to that last one. But, uh, yeah, the AJ Cena thing, it's just getting more and more ridiculous. But, you know, they're they're doing... Because Cena keeps getting injured. He can't be put into a major title scene if Cena keeps getting injured like this. But the celebration last night was cool. Um, can I just say, I'm raw. Titus O'Neil needs to be on commentary for every match. <laughs> every match involving the tag, TV, the tag team division... Please put Titus O'Neil on commentary. He was fucking phenomenal. Um, I'm not even going to talk about TNA because it was fucking horrible. I do want to mention a few things I learned about WWE 13. Uh, one, they don't know, they don't have a set policy on the word ass because they'll have badass Billy Gunn being announced, they'll have ass in all the promos in the Attitude Era mode. But, if you play as Road Dog, if the music starts off, Oh, you didn't know? You better call somebody. As opposed to, yo ass better call somebody. It's a little, you know, finicky. But, whatever. WWE is still a fun game. But, um, one last thing. I I know you guys are going to be doing what you're thankful for this year. I'm thankful for all of you for listening to me bullshit about random crap for three to five minutes at a time. And I'm also thankful that I don't review TNA anymore. I'm really, really thankful of that. Because I can actually go in the Hangouts now and bitch about it out loud to WrestleFans. And also, I don't know if you guys know your history, but I've discovered that WrestleFan is the Betty Friedan of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just swirl that one around your brains a little bit. All right, what's the Mad Mike? Happy Turkey Day, motherfuckers. Peace. Happy Turkey Day and such. All right. Uh, thank you, Mad Mike, for that. Any comments on that? Uh, what do you say? Nope. Yes, yeah, TNA. At least he didn't call me a weeble wobble this time. He didn't call you a weeble wobble this time. That's good. That's good. Bobby. So, <laughs> Bobby. I don't fall you down, don't, motherfucker. You don't, you don't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on that note, I think we need to touch base with Chachi. Oh. Hi, Chachi. Chachi, you've had an eventful day. <laughs> now, we talked about it a little bit. If you want a little <laughs> bit more in the story, uh, we, we, we talked about it on the Awesome Cast. Uh, but I wanted to get more into <laughs> the wrestling side of it. Uh, uh, Chachi, without more of the technical uh, parts of it, uh, that we we got a little technical. The but technical so, social, We were talking more social media side of what happened today to you. Oh. So so just let's, let's just just kind of give us the gist of what happened here. Well, I don't like uh, Zach Ryder. Because <laughs> you're too, just, in case, just in case you haven't been listening. Yeah, to just in case you don't follow his Twitter. Yeah, just I mean, just in case you've never listened to the show before. Uh, yeah, I don't like Zach Ryder. I think he's worthless. Uh, he shouldn't be in the WWE. His gimmick is annoying. I don't like him. Um, so for the past two and a half weeks, I I've been. Uh, how do you say? Trolling? Yeah. Um, I, I've basically been sending Zack Ryder uh, a tweet a day that says, uh, Woo, 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 you suck. Hashtag daily reminder. For two and a half weeks. Um, if you've never followed me on Twitter, uh, I have a thing with uh, getting celebrities to block me or negatively respond to me in some way. Um, Proof, proves how much of an amazing person Chachi is. <laughs> including, again, list the names. Um, uh, Chad Ochocinco from the Cincinnati Bengals uh, told me to fuck off and blocked me. And Scott Bayo just blocked me. Um, well, Scott Bayo's a douche. Well, he's not really a celebrity. He's right. a douche and pregnant. Um, but he's in charge. <laughs> Uh, uh, but Zack Ryder took it another way, and I, I wasn't aware of this before, um, but if you don't like Zack Ryder, and you let Zack Ryder know that you don't like him, he retweets it. <laughs> so, today, I've had, uh, a, a very large amount of responses. Oh, yeah, he did. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that! Yay. And, can, uh, can we read some of them? I have. Let me, I have. I, I, I want to get a statistic of how many of those responses are under the age of twelve. I, I wish. Um, I have a <laughs> bunch of them favorited, and uh, uh, other st- other statistics, uh, other stats for today. Um, I've gained nine followers. 
I, uh, I've been favorited 14 times, and that particular tweet has been retweeted, uh, last count was 25 times. Yep. So, uh, let's see. Um, and, and some of them I've had fun conversations with, yep. like being a complete ass. And it always ends with me telling them to have a great day. <laughs> um, Wait, was that why you told me to have a great day? No, no. No, no I was just... being nice to you. Um, uh, one guy said, uh, laugh my ass off. It's the fact that he has a Bowser face for a profile picture that makes us funny. Um, uh, you suck uh, ass and oh uh, yeah, woo woo woo, you know it. One of the greatest responses I've received all day. Uh, in Hindi, Chachi means father's younger brother's wife. Father's roommate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's right. You do suck pretty bad. Hashtag made your own belt. Hashtag really. Uh, woo woo woo. You are a bitch. Um, <laughs> Wait, was that directed to you? Or I don't Ryan? know. It's, at, don't it's, it's know. added at both, right? Yeah, it's at <sighs> both. So I have no idea. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, don't you dare say that exact writers suck. He's the top wrestler in my book. He'll be the next world champion soon. My response to that is your book Look is like... really dumb. And and <laughs> another one of the greatest responses comes from a ninth grader. And he since deleted this tweet. But it says, if at Zack Ryder sucks, then so do you. <laughs> and then uh, is, uh, is Zack Ryder is one of the most talented wrestlers I've ever seen and have had the opportunity to meet. You're just an ignorant twat. The one that deleted his parents caught him being mean on the internet and <laughs> made him delete the tweet. <laughs> what, tell, what was the one follower you received that was... <laughs> the greatest follower I received uh, in light of all of this is... Hold on, I actually just got my follower report for today. Um, at somebody underscore today... It's an anti-bullying account. <laughs> <laughs> You've been marked. Oh man. Um, yeah. So I, I you spent. Sorry, Chachi. I, I yep. spent uh, two and a half weeks <laughs> um, letting someone know that he is a terrible human being. Happy Thanksgiving, Zack Ryder. <laughs> and uh, yeah, mission accomplished. Yeah, mission accomplished. Uh, I can send the troops home now. <laughs> there comes the banner behind Chachi. He's gonna fly in on F sixteen. Uh, and, and yeah, so I don't know. I don't know which celebrity I'm gonna piss off next. I just know that uh, I got through to this one. Could we make suggestions? If you want to, I, no wrestlers. They're too hard. Wrestle fan. Wrestle fan. It's not that hard either. What? Um, you want me to piss off wrestle fan? Wrestle fan. Don't I just don't I do that by showing up on Tuesday? Kinda. Yep. That's kind of part of the territory. Yeah, I am. In, in other news, Goldust retweeted me four times. Four times? <laughs> he did four times. And I didn't even I didn't ad reply him in any of them. Were you making fun of him? No, I wasn't. You no, didn't even, he wait, was you didn't even talk about the show you were at this weekend. Uh, it's nothing too big to talk about. It was a he, did, he took a picture and did not point at Goldust. I didn't point at Goldust's tits. Well, actually, no. Cause... Sorry, it wasn't Gold Dust. It was Dustin Rhodes. It's a difference. Dustin Rhodes, yeah. How dare you? But uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending out. Uh, I'm sending out a tweet Let's... right now from the Mayhem Show account. Happy Thanksgiving, the Zack Ryder from the show, and Chachi says, um, hey, "You know, what? I'm going to schedule that for Tuesday here." <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's going to go out 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Thursday. 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 Thursday, whatever day there's a there's a parade. But oh, what if he's gonna watch? I need the parade? to remind I need to remind Luke Ravenstall to have a happy Thanksgiving. Why? Because <laughs> he'll forget. <laughs> oh, uh, Luke, Luke Ravenstall is the mayor of Pittsburgh. Yes, for those um, that aren't here. Uh, for a while, he never used Twitter. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> one of the last tweets he ever sent out was "Happy Thanksgiving." So, and that was like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know that should be the ne that should be the next guy. 
Really? In there? <laughs> yeah, the mayor of Pittsburgh. <laughs> he doesn't tweet. I know, I know, unfortunately. It would be useless. Get on his radar. I should already be on his radar. Oh, uh, you know. Me. Hashtag it. Well, with any luck, maybe the next mayor will be on you'll be on his radar because he comes to your events. Yeah. You know. Hopefully. So uh but anyways, that's another thing. <laughs> so uh so wrestling. Yes, uh raw. Oh, um, the pay per view was great. Survivor yeah. series really stuck up. Uh stuck I had a out. fun time. Yeah, I, we all yeah. had a good yeah. time, right? Yeah, right? If I, can, uh, I wanna go I back w- to Raw. But, yeah, and then Raw happened. For one, no, no, for one reason, Raw kind of saved itself. Okay. When Paul Heyman came out, mm-hmm. stole the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. He said, and he's, I'm going to summarize it. He pretty much said, hey, you all want the Attitude Era. You all think you want the Attitude Era. But every time somebody does something attitude era ish or light or like, everybody's up in arms about it. Why mm. did you do this? Why did you do that? And Paul Heyman's right. Yeah, exactly. He's he's right because in the attitude era, you had stuff like that. A guy, like we said it before, a guy died. Oh, is that what he was referring to? No, 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 no. He was talking about. He, he was referring to them making fun of the guy who right. make fun of Jerry Law. Well, well, but in well, the, I, well, back in I the day, that was horrible, and I never say I want the Attitude Era back. No, it, it's not like I said. It, it wasn't directed at us. Right. It was directed at fans in general. Most fans want the Attitude Era. Am I correct? Most adult yeah. fans. That is fair enough. Probably, yeah. And, that's a good. That's a good guess. And then every time something happens with the Attitude Era coming into the, I hate PG era, but with the WWE era now, even the people who are the Attitude Era guys really didn't like it for some reason. So it it just seems like it was Paul Heyman just saying, "What do you guys want?" <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, he, he pretty much double birded everybody there. It is a good observation because every time that it seems like WWE does something off color, it seems like we're sitting here defending it. You know, mm-hmm. it seems like people are like, "Oh, they went too far." Oh, but it's wrestling. <laughs> Don't say it so seriously. But yeah. it's like, oh, remember the fucking attitude area era? Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, you know the racism that happens all the time. Oh, well, it's wrestling, but yeah. <laughs> remember, remember, that's the time we want to call back to. But everybody thinks that. I think also everybody thinks about uh, thinks we're talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin flipping people off. They think we're talking about you know all the tr- all the kind of hardcore matches and the blood and all that kind of stuff and then the raciness. You know, it's like yeah, I, I, the I raciness. Got it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I actually got um because I posted something on Twitter during Raw about how like I hate Sheamus and how you know he's a horrible face because he is a horrible face. Um, and someone replied to me saying, "Well, what is Steve Austin?" Mm-hmm. You know, but at the I I get and I understood him like, but I replied to him uh, with the exception of him uh, stunning women, everyone that he attacked and and beat up were clearly heels. No. No, I nope. no, because he would just stun. He would he would stun everybody. There yeah, were no he was DTA. stunned fully. He was stun. He was stun anybody. He was tag teaming with. Okay, nope. remember Trump's when he got pissed awesome. off a couple years ago when Triple H uh, beat up the people that were helping him uh, after a match? I think it was uh, uh, Kendrick in London. That's exactly what Stone that Cold not, did. That was not that was not Austin. That was Triple H. That, no, no, yeah, I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. It was Triple H. Yeah, remember when we were mad at Triple H for doing that? That's exactly what Stone Cold did all the freaking time. Okay. I guess uh, the Rock. The, the Rock. Not a nice guy. Was same never a nice Orton, guy too. when he was on top. Was he, Chach? Re- no. Remember, was... remember when he, uh, during the WrestleMania build against Cena, came out and gave Mick Foley a rock bottom for no reason? Right. That was then the Rock. Left. Yeah. Yeah. That was the Rock at the top of the Rock's game. Yeah. 
It, it, the, the, these weren't nice guys. She, the, the Hulk Hogan, if you look back at Hulk Hogan mats, he, matches, like when he was like the real American and all that stuff, he was kind of a dick, okay? He, uh, um, I, um, what? Apple pie still still in, match. Uh, yeah, you, you know, yeah, but I mean, he was I mean, very... He, he's, he, he was, but I get what you're saying. He's, he, he was a dick. But a, majority, a lot of this stuff was him being a sore loser in the long run. Fine, but a majority of the time, the people that uh, Hogan, uh, Austin, a uh, rock or whatever were feuding with were clearly the heels. V- Vince McMahon was clearly the heel. Okay. Everything he did was justified. Okay. Er, it, in a way, it could be justified. Yeah. When Big Show, when Sheamus loses his match at Survivor Series, attacks Big Show with the chair. Big Show begs for forgive or begs for him to not hit him with the chair. He drops it and then bro kicks him and then smiles. But like, that's after Big Show pulls a fast one with the referee. That like that doesn't First happen in all, wrestling. Like, come on. Have you ever seen an action movie wrestle fan? Mm. If if. Seamus dropped it and walked away. Big Show would have probably gotten up, grabbed the chair, and smacked him over the head. With right. And then he would have he, turned right, around and right. shot him between the Hold eyes. On. Right. Yeah. And then there right, would have been an explosion and he would have walked away. You're right. Not man. looking at it. He would have, which would make Big Show the clear heel. No, then, and then you would probably still say Seamus. And would justify Seamus wanting to get revenge on him. You're very angry. You are. Right. Calm down. Oh, yeah. oh, right, 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 right. Wrestle fan, wrestle fan. Listen, this is pro wrestling. It's not fucking Care Bears, okay? Well, uh, actually, <laughs> he wants to get revenge on Big Show because of the whole ref thing. Yeah. So that is clear as day. Yeah. Mm. So, this I mean, he has a reason. He has a motivation to be angry. And when he, when Seamus gets angry, angry, he turns Turn screen yeah. green. Yeah, exactly. And 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 he's gonna he becomes eat irrational. Fella. I think you're over analyzing him. Yeah. It's pro wrestling. Yeah, I go yeah, back to it's pro wrestling. It's a bunch of people beating each other up to begin with, okay? Um, and then there's like a crossing the line point. Remember also, Big Show went and attacked him and William Regal in a bar for no reason. Yeah. They fought each other and threw each other through through cars and shit on SmackDown. It's pro wrestling, fella. Thanks, big PPC. Don't, don't call me fella. <laughs> fella. I'm not your fella, pal. Could, could, I, could I mention a tweet that Paul Heyman tweeted? What's speaking that? Speaking of this whole Attitude Era thing. Mm-hmm. Somebody tweeted at CM Punk, lay off the king. You don't need to bash him to generate heat at CM Punk. <laughs> and Jerry, and uh, Paul Heyman tweeted back at this guy, or retweeted it. So at Jerry Lawler walks into car- cardio- into a cardiologist's office and dot dot dot. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that that's like the uh, his kind of uh, that, that's his humor to begin with. You know mm-hmm. that's 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 Paul Heyman. You know Paul Heyman's a dick. You know he's he's yeah, being a fun. heel. He's doing he's, a good job at it. Yeah, he is. But, no, he's Paul Heyman was right awesome after the time. So Sheamus isn't awesome. Because Jimmy's in the face. He's not. Oh, it's not so clear cut anymore. Jeez. He's a face because he looks funny and the kids wait, like him. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to tell me that it's not so clear cut anymore, but people were mad at me because I said CM Punk was still a face. Yeah, I think that's a little weird CM too. Punk, yeah. CM Punk's. CM Punk. It doesn't matter if he's a face because he still sells t shirts. No, I'm not saying it matters either. But I know, like, Chachi and that was mad at me because I kept calling him a face when he was doing heel things. Two How is this any different? I You're did, doing heel things. No, no, no. That's, they disagreed, and that's no different than LB saying that uh, Big Show's a face this whole time. I don't think Big Show's a face. That's, you know. Not now. But. Not now. I, I would like to revisit that with LB and see if he, he thinks the same thing. Because he was the one maintaining that long after... Uh, Big Show's turn on um, who did he turn on? He turned on Cena. Uh, Laurinaitis. So, so he turned on no, Cena. No, he turned on Cena to join with he Laurinaitis. He beats up bad guys. Sheamus does. Wait, wait, wait. He beats up bad guys. Sheamus does. He turned face against the angry Mark Henry. So does it all just determine who people's facing? I don't know. That seems to be what you're saying. 
No, no, it's not what I'm saying. I said, okay. That's what you're saying with Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's being an asshole to everybody, but he happens to be fighting the bad guys. Yeah. Sheamus is kind of being an asshole, but he happens to be fighting the, the bad guys. Same with Randy Orton. Is that how we're analyzing this? Okay. Oh, fair, fair enough. Either way. Fair enough. Either I way. Will, I will still hate Sheamus. Either way, the, it's very obvious to our chat room here uh, that Russell fans turning turning heel. Wait, I, think is I, think I've always, I think I've always been the heel. Wait, you know no, what? No, 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 no. He can't be a heel. I'm the heel. Now I, I don't feel so wait, bad no. for being mean to him earlier tonight. I don't, I don't think I'm a heel. I'm more like the uh, Ricardo Rodriguez character, where I just get beat up all the time for no reason because I'm associated with heels. So can you're I like pour, the heel Zack Ryder. Can I pour chili over him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we got to that point, but yes, let's do that. Um, okay. By the way, but going back to Raw, he's a like, tweener. Sort of, He's a tweener. <laughs> sort of, sort of the problems with Raw. So yeah, thanks WWE for making me wait through uh, wait through three hours of your programming just to get the same finish from Survivor Series. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was kind of lame. How many weeks do we have till TLC? Got film up. Got to fill. Oh, so they we're obviously still- leading to some kind of payoff, right? Yeah. Oh, hopefully. Right. With another Punk Ryback match. Yeah. Oh, Which, yeah. By the way, Chachi. Fuck Chachi. you. I'm out. No, 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 no. Hold on. Chachi, <laughs> I'm with you this time. Chachi. <laughs> Chachi's gone. Chachi, I'm with you this time. I hate this Fuck Ryback you. thing too now. I quit. I quit. If- no, honestly. No, okay. <laughs> when Ryback... I, I love that I just mentioned the name Ryback and he, and he quit. Um, but, I think, but I think he, keeping at home. You know, I keep track at home. Yeah. This is the thir- second time in three years that Chachi has walked out on a show. I think he's quit more times than that. Second time in three years? I'm sure there's more than that. There's yeah, more yeah. than that. There That's is okay. more? Okay. okay. We, got a new, we got a new co-host here. Sit down. We, we need a new co-host. We need a new co-host here. Hello, Missy. Hey, Missy. Hey, Missy. Hey. Missy. Sorry, you didn't tell me. Wasn't going to tell me what you did. Uh, well, well, don't, 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 don't worry about that. Don't worry trip. about that. Uh, yeah, you no. you got to put headphones on so you can hear everybody else. Uh oh. Hi. Picky picky Hi. picky. Hi. So Hi. Nothing happened so during the break you, at all. You watched. Nothing. You watched. You you didn't watch wrestling at all this week. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> did you? You can't. You kept Did eating you? Sorg baked goods as he was watching wrestling. That's true. I, I'm good for that. <laughs> You're also not Chachi. No. No, no, I'm not Chachi. There you go. There you go. Since since, since you're here, hi. Hi. But um, uh, going back to the Ryback thing, I'm I'm siding with I'm, Chachi. Okay. I'm siding I'm signing with Chachi here okay. because the first time Ryback got his title shot against CM Punk, Riz just left too. Riz is gone. <laughs> Riz um, is gone. Okay. There was, uh, but the first time Ryback got his title shot, you know, there was intrigue. There was, you know, oh, can he really do it? Can, you know, are they going to give him the title? And now it's just become a point when they put Ryback in title matches where we're just going to keep thinking, how are they going to screw us out of this? Everyone's leaving. What? What is going on? Apparently you're boring people. Uh, well, what else is new, Missy? Well, that's okay. Chachi's going to walk in and realize that I'm not Chachi at this point. So this is the uh, Russell Fan Mayhem show. It's time to talk more about the independent wrestling circuit. <laughs> what, what, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> what is going on? I'm scared. Oh, no. Uh... Oh my god, I have stage fright. I have super stage fright right now. All the internet is listening just to me and no one else. This is kind of scary. Oh, please let someone be back. Yes. Oh, thank god. Thank god. <laughs> did, I, did I pass the uh, right back pee te- pee pee everyone, everyone else has left, Riz, <laughs> except for me. I had to pee again. What did I miss? I'm scared. <laughs> What are we supposed to do? Sorg and Chachi are gone. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, 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 jer- jerking uh, with your mouth? 
Wow. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. No more. You left me high and dry. Well, fuck you. You brought up Ryback. I'm going to name my dick Ryback. That way I don't feel so bad when I'm beating him. <laughs> But Chachi, if you do that, you won't be able to. You won't be able to beat it. Yeah, because he he won't put anyone over. It's gonna no sell. It's gonna no sell. (laughs) My dick. You should name it Dolph Ziggler, so it sells all the time. That way it oversells everything. <laughs> and then you guys do like three flips when it gets hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, Chachi, we- I was siding with you before you like stormed off. Wait, are we talking about Raw now? <laughs> of course we're talking about Raw now. Is that what we're doing? We're talking about Raw now? I don't know. He started going to his point, then he got scared. Uh, I got really scared because no one else was here. Hey, I can pinpoint the exact moment Raw took a turn for the worst last what night. What was that? What was that? Uh, they gave Ryback a microphone to start the show. And then they followed it up with... A Ryback match against Tenzai. I was mentally checked out. The fact that I made it through the whole Raw was amazing. Because after that match, uh, or, I mean, as soon as they said that's the match that it was going to be, I was done. And then they followed it up with a... What was the next match? I don't know. Was that the Orton? It was a Divas match, oh, wasn't Kofi, it? Kofi and Barrett, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. Kofi match was good. And then, like, two matches after that, they had Orton and Del Rio in a two out of three falls match. I'm like, I'm done. Because they don't know how to end this feud. And you know you know who's going to win. No one. Out of nowhere. <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> no one wins. Oh, so, Chachi, if you name your dick uh, Dolph Ziggler... Uh, your pickup line could be, I'm here to cash in. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm here to show the world. Whatever. That's a new one. <laughs> if, if my dick was a wrestler. <laughs> oh, no. That's a new, that's a new I name. I already did that. I did that last week. You did? No, yeah, I thought, during my... I thought you said if your dick had entrance music. Oh, entrance <laughs> entrance music. Yeah, I did. That's right. Oh, Hashtag we'll boom, boom, boom. That was my Matt Hardy. I'm here to blow the world. <laughs> if your crotch, wow, were a current, <laughs> or were a wrestler, <laughs> what wrestler? <laughs> are you, are Damian, you tweeting this right now? Would it be Damian Sandow? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but by it, the way, and it also does a couple of will. I love on Raw that the AJ John Cena Vicky Guerrero angle has literally turned into the Claire Lynch angle because they brought out someone that looked exactly like Claire Lynch. Pretty much, yeah. That was kind of scary. It's I like, oh, was she's back. What if she can act now? Huh. No. 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 Everything just feels so pointless. It does. Yeah. It does. It's getting to that Claire Lynch point. How many of us said when uh, Antonio Cesaro had his match, how many of us said, why is our truth still out there? No one. Yeah, yeah, because it was like it's like you beat him clean. Why are you still doing this, Arch Truth? And the uh, weird point about that match was after Cesaro won, he looked directly at Arch Truth for some reason. Like he was he was in the number one contenders match for Arch Truth's non existent United States title. You're saying they flipped it? It's like. I was watching Bizarro Raw. <laughs> well, that's uh, pretty much what it's been lately. Uh, so. uh, I got responses already. Oh, yeah? Uh, <laughs> Hillbilly Jim. <laughs> the Big Show. And, yeah, and Mad Mike said The Big Show. Of course Liar. he would. Hey, man. Of course he would. Liar. Well, like Hornswoggle, right? That's awesome. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about how Raw doesn't... Yeah, Let, let's talk hours. about Kali and fucking Hornswoggle. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Kali Against one of the best tag teams in the WWE right now. That's wow. probably soon going to be fired. The real best in the world. But Rosa Mendez was squirted. And it, it lasted... Was, the whole thing lasted like two minutes. Like, literally two yeah. minutes. But it was it, a waste it, of time. They had to fill two minutes. 
It you looked had to like fill those two minutes. Riz is a liar. <laughs> Why? He said the great Kali. Mm -hmm. So bad dancer and keeps going over. <laughs> Bro, it's Clay. <laughs> That means it's just uh, this is some interesting uh, word association. Uh, uh, is, uh, uh, Mandor, do you said Ryback because it's being shoved down everyone's throat? Uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. oh, man. All right. On that note, I think it's time. That one gets a retweet oh, oh and God. a star. Guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? If you, I got the link out there. Let me see if I can stick it in there again. Um... If you, you know what I learned from r r wrestling this week? What'd you learn? And now I have a stutter. I have a fucking stutter. Okay. <laughs> Three weeks ago, it took an hour and a half for me to shut off wrestling. Two weeks ago, it took 45 minutes for me to shut off wrestling. Mm -hmm. This week, it took me one minute, 30 seconds to check out of wrestling this week. I just punched my microphone. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> you punched so my microphone. Wrestling is going downhill. Yeah, yeah. I love that you say wrestling is going downhill as as far as like you're watching WWE. Josh, <laughs> I, I maybe it's time for you to take on an alternative and try I, it out. I'm going to have to like start watching wrestling like Ring of Honor or something. Yeah, I'm going to have to something. start. It's a lot less of a time investment if you watch Ring of Honor, sir. And you, and you know you what? Can... Fuck it. I'm going to start watching TNA on Thursdays. No, don't no, do that. No, 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 no. No, we want you to like what you're watching. Chachi? What up? No. <laughs> chachi, no. chachi, 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 no. do the right thing. No, that's my catchphrase. I know. <laughs> Throwing it back at you, wrestle fan. What'd you learn this week? Uh, I learned from wrestling this week from the uh, Brandon Stroud column that just came out today. The reason for Oxana's boob zipper, boob zipper, uh, is because think of it like um, overalls, and how overalls have that uh, that little part in the butt that lets you poop. Uh, Oksana's just wearing the outfit on backwards. Hmm. Well, hmm. she doesn't know any better. Hmm. She's from <laughs> she's foreign. She's foreign. Bobby FJ Town, what'd you learn from wrestling? I learned Randy Orton lost the match at Survivor Series, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very happy about that. But then he comes back and wins a two out of three falls or whatever he did out of nowhere again. Wow. Uh, yeah, there yeah. is. But oh, but, oh. but one one more thing. I learned that my hatred for Randy Orton has actually calmed my hatred for John Cena and I actually respect John Cena now because of the make a wish stuff and he's actually a well, he's an okay wrestler but I I give John Cena credit. And go. and he rolled his ankle chasing a woman <laughs> with a boner. He tripped on his dick, all right? <laughs> 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 and he went through a porta potty or whatever it was. That stall. <laughs> well, someone pointed out on Twitter that there was no toilet in those stalls. There was. Also, That's also, a lie. Also, it was just nope, on top. Nope. The from the, <laughs> oh, the monkey's, the monkey's back. Just quick, uh, go ahead. You go with the monkey first. The monkey. What the That's what the monkey learned. <laughs> All right, week. monkey. What did you learn from wrestling this week in the hangout? I think I got this on. You learned to stay away from that crocodile. Ah. Uh! John Cena is awesome. All right, enough of that, Riz. What did you learn from wrestling this week? I learned John Cena just wanted that cookie. John Cena is awesome. <laughs> John Cena is awesome. And he also, wanted that cookie. I, uh, also and, he, I learned and he got it. Go out there. Get that cookie. I think the monkey is pantomiming your answer. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, qu uh, quick from the uh, Brandon Stroud column, I also learned the best part of that whole thing was Just say you're Brandon Stroud already. Whatever. <laughs> uh, what I learned from my own column. Yeah, uh, the best part of the AJ and Dolph Ziggler uh, locker room segment was that the three-man band was just standing in towels, <laughs> including Joe McIntyre with his cowboy hat on. Oh, boy. Can't wrestle, but you can stand in a towel. 
<laughs> also, the fact that they were taking showers, even though they hadn't had a match that night. <laughs> Are you sure? They say they tape how many episodes? They were probably on Superstars. Are they getting ready? <laughs> probably, to be yeah, honest. From the chat room, Big PPC learned that it took three people to powerbomb Ryback, and it is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Amanda Ortiz learned Mr. Baseball. I also learned that Mr. my, oh, my dick is baseball. like Ryback, and WrestleFan uh, is even more evil than that bird killer, Mr. Touchdown. And I'll be Axana's boob sipper. Sipper. Rest in, sipper. Rest in peace, Sapphire. Rest in peace, Sapphire. Uh, Sweet Sapphire. Zipper. I love the Survivor Series. It's kind of, yeah, I mean, it really, like we always say, oh, it's the Survivor Series. They don't do anything good with it anymore. And and it keeps coming back around, man. Uh, I, I think it was last year's good. A year, like the last few years, it's, it's always like that sleeper hit pay per view. Mm hmm. You know, we keep forgetting it's one of the big four, and they're and they're remembering it's one of the big four when we get around to it. It's consistently a highlight. And also, guys, we are one pay per view away from WrestleMania season again. Yay. Holy shit, it comes fast. Yeah, that's what Which I love. Means- we don't have that doll that 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 droll after Christmas because everybody else is like, oh, we have no more holidays. There's nothing exciting happening for the first like few months of the year. No, there's fucking WrestleMania. There's the wrestling holiday. We get a Royal Rumble. We get yep. Elimination Chamber is really growing on me, and then we get fucking WrestleMania. Love it. Wrestler Christmas. Wrestling <laughs> wrestling fan Christmas. Wrestling Christmas. <laughs> wrestling Christmas. Yeah. Santa Claus dropping elbow drops. That's right. Thanks, guys. This has been a great show. That Santa, Santa Claus Paul. is coming down the chimney with <laughs> power <laughs> bombs, motherfucker, for all yo asses. Woo! It's a Wrestling Mayhem Show. Check us out, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on iTunes, Blip TV, Roku, Stitcher, and the Spreaker channel. Just hey, you know what? Her. What? I'm a Chachi Says guy. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Go check out the shirt again, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Also, drop us an email, too. Good, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Drop us a line at 412-206-WMS0. And you can also check out the WMS Gold app like Riz has got right there on your iOS store and on your Amazon app store for the Android devices. And it's for all your iOS devices. Oh, look at that. What's he opening there? Yeah. Oh, he's following uh, us on Twitter. Uh, oh, 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 crash. That happens. I'm sure it's his fault. He did an update. Right. Um, yeah. I'm Sorgatron at Sorgatron with... At Chachi says, at the Wrestle Fan, at Bobby F J Town, at the Riz. I'm sorry, at Riz U- I U P. <laughs> also check out their site at insertcointobegin.com for some. You know what? I'm going to change that right now. <laughs> See if that's taken. What the Riz? What? The Riz. The- yeah, I think that works. That works. Try, I just, yeah. You got to remind me to change all your fucking titles now. Yeah. Let's so see. Um, he called me the Riz, so I might as well. That's right. That's right. Why not the Russell fan, the Riz? Uh, at least you can play. call me my uh, name on Twitter. The Chachi says. And banana. And banana. And banana. And banana. banana. And banana. And now you just keep forgetting banana. who you are. So you know, like, tonight. Fuck this hand banana guy. That's B A N A N A S. So with that, thank you guys. It's been a great mayhem show. Hopefully Papa Lunchbox will come back from the old country by next week for uh, some more mayhem. We'll see you guys next week. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Don't gobble. Fucking gobble. Mayhem out! Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the-